of all the indelible images that Fox captured last night, the shot of Chris Bryant, as you properly called it, a difficult play, right? And he even slipped making that last throw over to Rizzo. But he's grinning ear to ear like, I got this, right? I've got this despite 108 years of heartache and pain. I'm this young kid who doesn't know any better. I've got this. And that's the sort of image that I would be scared of if I'm the rest of the National League or the American League, too, for the next a uh, few years with this so-called monkey off their backs now, Joe, with this Cubs team being young and good. Absolutely. When you think about they're it. They're built for now, and they're built for the next four, five, six years. I mean, they're they're probably going to lose Arietta, but they've other guy they've got other guys in the pipeline, and the core of that team is young. Uh, the only significant player they're losing is Chapman, who I assume they won't re-sign, but maybe they do. Uh, and you know, David Ross, that's it. And, and his, his tank is on empty. So I, I think, uh, yeah, they're, they're well built. I said it kind of last night, you know, wh- when is it when a GM comes in and says, stick with me, bear with me. I got a five-year plan and it works. You know, he came in in 2011 and Jed Hoyer came with him eventually and yeah, be patient, everybody. Don't worry. I got this. And, and then it happened. And, and Madden was a big part of it. And getting John Lester as a free agent. But a lot of really shrewd trades got younger but got better. And it was all pointed toward 2016, and it actually happened. I mean, that that's really rare in pro sports. I remember being a Yankee fan watching the Red Sox break their f- curse. And it was tough to watch. I got to be honest with you. What do you what do you think Cardinals Nation is thinking today after watching the Cubs do what they did, Joe? I hear a lot of both. You know, I, I get a lot of text messages uh, from people that I know just around town in St. Louis, and I would say most are, are happy for Cub fans. I, I don't know. I I get it, it but it's been 108 years. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, Part it's of me right. is like it, it spread it's it around right. a little bit. Uh, it's right. And be happy for somebody else, but I, I don't. I do not. I'm smart enough to know not to tell fans how to think. And yes. uh, if they don't want to like it, then they don't want to like it. But I, I think it's ridiculous. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.